Hey guys, welcome to Coding Spot. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Python, how to use pip to install models like Pygame, and how to install and set up Sublime Text 3 on Mac. So if you have a Windows, make sure to see my video on how to do all these things on Windows. There's a link to the video in the description below. Okay guys, so the first thing we want to do is download Python. So we want to go to python.org. I'm going to put all links in the description. And once we're here, we want to go to where it says downloads. And we want to click right here. This will let us download the latest version of Python, which in my case is the 3.8.5. But if you're searching for another version, you can go here to where it says Mac OS. And as you can see, you can download any version you want. So as in my case, I want the 3.8.5 version. I'm going to click right here and we're going to wait until it downloads. Okay, once it has downloaded, we want to go to our downloads folder in our finder and we want to search for our Python download. We want to click it and this window should pop up. We want to click on continue three times and we're going to click on agree. Then before we click on install, we want to click on customize and we want to make sure this install or upgrade pip is checked. This will let us install Python models or Python packages. And also I'm going to uncheck this Python documentation because it takes too much space, but you can leave it. It's just fine. Once we do this, we can go ahead and click on install. Go ahead and put your password and we're going to wait until it installs. Okay, so once installation has finished, you should see something like this. And actually what we want to do next is check if Python has been correctly installed in our computer. So we want to do the following. We want to press common space and we want to search for terminal. We want to open it. And once we're here, we want to type Python 3 hyphen B. And this will tell us the current version, the current Python 3 version we have on our computer. So it should be the one we just downloaded. Go ahead and click enter. And as you can see, mine is the 3.8.5 that was the same that I recently installed. Now we want to do the same for our pip manager. So go ahead and type pip3 hyphen b. And you should see something like this. So if you're not seeing something like this, it's probably because you didn't install it correctly. So make sure it, it is correctly installed because what we want to do now is actually use our pip installer to install any Python model we want. So I want to install Pygame. So I want to type pip install and the name of the model you want to install. So in this case, Pygame and hit enter. And you should see something like this. So what we want to do next is actually check if that Python model we just installed, it's actually correctly installed in our computer. So go ahead and type pip show and the name of your model. So in my case, Pygame, hit enter and something like this should appear. Okay, so hope that's working for you. What we want to do now is actually install our Sublime Text Editor. And Sublime Text is basically a place where you can write your code and not only Python code, but any code you want because it supports plenty of programming languages. So we want to go to sublimetext.com. I'm going to put the link in the description. And once we're here, we want to go to where it says download. Once here, we want to click to where it says OSX. And we're going to wait until it downloads. Okay, so once it has downloaded, we want to go to our downloads folder again in our finder. And actually, you can remove this, this Python installer. I'm going to move it to trash. And we want to double click our Sublime Text installer. Okay, so once installation has finished, we should see something like this. And what we want to do is take our Sublime Text application and put it into our applications folder. I'm not going to do it because I have already installed Sublime Text, but make sure you do it. Now you want to go to your applications folder in your finder and you want to search for your Sublime Text editor and you want to open it. So as you can see, we have correctly installed and download our Sublime Text editor. 
I'm now gonna show you how to create a Python file. So for you to start writing code in Python. So what you wanna do is go to file, or just hit command S, and you wanna search the location where you wanna save your file. And you're gonna put the following, the name of your file. So in my case, I'm gonna use test and the .py extension. This is really important because it's telling Sublime Text that we are going to code in Python. So go ahead and save it. And we can now write in Python. And I'm gonna show you a Python script for you to see that Python, pip, pygame, and Sublime Text were all correctly installed. So I'm gonna paste it, you can copy it if you want. And as you can see, I'm using pygame, the pygame model we installed in this video. So what we wanna do is go to our menu bar. So it is located at the top of the screen. We wanna go to tools and we wanna click to where it says build system and we wanna make sure it's Python selected. Once we have selected our Python, we can go ahead and, and, and press command B for it to start building. And as you can see, we managed to create a Pygame screen with Pygame and Sublime Text Editor. So that's all for this video, guys. Hope you like it. Please leave a like, uh, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.